Hi Libra, welcome to your Week Ahead Taroscope with me, Raphael from Radiant Reality. It's an absolute pleasure to have you. Thank you so much for being here. Thank you so much for joining me. If you haven't already, please don't forget to like, share, and if you should so choose and it resonates, hit that subscribe button. If you are already a continued subby, you know I love you for it. With that said, if you would like to book a personal reading with me, you can do so on the website address below. And before we start, as always, I would like to bless my decks of cards with all forms of love, light, peace, prosperity and abundance and I pray that the messages that come through are ultimately clear and concise and they help you or should I say yeah you on your path to your highest vibrational good. So uh, a <clears throat> couple of announcements I just recently did a talk with the Kelly Rosano I can't quite believe it if you want to check it out it was a live stream that we did on the new moon uh, the full moon uh, the Libra full moon the Taurus new moon that's coming up and various other bits and bobs. Uh, if you want to see that, head over to her channel to check it out. Also, if you've ever wondered about the links between the major arcana and the zodiac and the planets of astrology uh, and how and where I get all of my associations, I'm doing a project at the moment with Heather from Astrology with Heather. Uh, she is an amazing astrologer, super kind, super sweet, uh, and she's uh, really, really knowledgeable. So if you want to check that out, we'll be bouncing between uh, both of our channels. So if you want to see the whole series, you're going to have to subscribe to our channel. With that said, Let's have a look, see what the week ahead has in store for you. What is your destiny card for the week ahead? And your destiny card for the week ahead that has jumped straight out is the sun card. Libra, the sun is shining on you this week. Uh, whenever I see this card, it always makes me happy because it's a reminder that you know, happiness, joy, abundance, all of those things at any moment in time are able to find us. The sun is currently in your opposite sign of the zodiac of, uh, of Aries. That doesn't mean that the sun can't shine on you, right? It means it's in your seventh house. So that means it's kind of harmonizing for you in some way, shape or form. When you get the sun card as a destiny card, you know, aside from all of the other, the big stuff, you know, joy, travel, abundance, money, all the rest of it, at a base level, the sun card can be just about feeling good, about feeling happy, about having good times. And the fact that you've got this as your destiny card means that this week you are going to be one of the signs that is feeling lighter and brighter than most else. And you know what? Revel in it. When we have those moments, it's so important for us to have them and to acknowledge them and to be present while we are feeling good and having that, that, that experience, right? Um, love it and it's jumped out for you so this is you know definitely meant for you in some way shape or form let's check out your direction card let's give it some context or flesh it out what might be happening for you this week that is making you feel so damn good and this week you get the page of cups it's love right whether this is your uh, whether this is your significant other if you don't have a significant other this is the love that you feel for friends for family there's a very big gratitude vibe that hangs around these two cards when they're coupled right because your page of cups yes it's you know creative endeavors and your intuition and all the rest of it but it's also it's love it's about how you feel about things it's about how you feel about people it's those good feelings that we are aware of in our lives and very often I say to people when I see the page of cups however you feel just acknowledge that and because it's coming through the guise of the sun card this week it's okay for you to feel good it's okay for you to feel happy if you haven't seen it please check out the weekly general and the reason I say that is because I, I feel like it applies to you guys more than anybody else this is also a, a spotlight or the sun shining on any of your creative projects or endeavors if there is something that you're working on behind the scenes this card or these combination of cards says that it may very well be soon that you are releasing this out into the world um now the thing about Libra, <laughs> Libra energy, a lot of people say about Virgo, but I've found that Libras can be a little bit perfectionist as well. Don't convince yourself that something isn't ready uh, when it's totally ready to go, right? And the thing is, the reason I say that is because we can convince ourselves that something isn't, you know, oh, it's not going to work, it's not going to happen, it's not going to this, it's not going to that, you know, it hasn't got this, it hasn't got that. 
sometimes you just have to jump in with both feet right you just have to do it and my advice to you is while you're already feeling good why not use that energy to propel you forward or whatever project it is or whatever it is that you're working on behind the scenes that's now ready to be released into the world even if it's not perfect it deserves to be birthed so let's have a look see at your insight card what is coming through for you in the week ahead and this week you get ooh, the hermit card right okay so this is interesting uh the, <laughs> as a motif this is kind of like enjoy the good times while they're here because next week you may not necessarily be feeling that same sort of energy your hermit card is always the withdrawal right this is where you pull away from the world it's where you decide to not necessarily go into hiding but sometimes you can when the hermit card shows up you're kind of saying okay you know what I'm shutting that stuff out. And with the Hermit card, this could be about some sort of information that is gracing your ears. Some sort of, so this could be on the wider world stage for sure. Um, I mean, especially with these cards because the Sun card is there. Um, this could be that this week there is some sort of information that is coming to you that kind of says to you, right, you know what? I'm going to enjoy the times that I'm having now, but as of next week, I'm going to hunker down. As of next week, I'm going to have more of a contingency plan. This could be knowledge and information that you're gaining from your own study and research, but it could just as easily be somebody that you are seeking out. So the Hermit card can represent wise figures. Uh, astrologers, tarot readers, numerologists, you know, mystics, seers, you know, psychics, whatever you want to call them, people that have a, a another form or source of wisdom. So it could be that uh, in response to information that you're gaining this week from somebody such as one of those people, you're making a contingency for next week to kind of withdraw from the, the public eye, so to speak which is interesting because it says that your your project right whatever this this baby of yours is that you've been working on it says that it's basically complete and i guess what the the big message there is don't convince yourself out of your blessings by saying oh i it, you know whatever it is that i've been working on isn't ready because when you say that to yourself effectively what you're saying is it's not good enough all right and i think that it probably is more than likely is <laughs> all right with that said i wish you an abundance of all of that good stuff have a fantastic week let me know in the comments how it shapes up take care and i'll see you soon